These days, there is a gigantic cement roadblock in front of men who lack confidence, and it's called the internet. Because when a man lacks confidence, he does a Google search, and he'll find a zillion different websites, videos, articles, blogs, books, workshops, and more that are designed to teach them how to fake confidence using everything from conversational tricks to confident body language. And if it works and you trick a woman into thinking that you're more confident than you actually are, it actually does the opposite of building your native confidence. It undermines it because it demonstrates to your own mind that you need tricks, that you can't be authentically confident, that you actually end up making the internal situation worse. If you're a pretty good actor, and this stuff actually works for you, then the experience of constantly almost getting a woman, but then when she figures out it's an act, she's out the door. Well, what that tells you is that the act was working, but that when she discovered the real you, that's when she bailed. So it must mean that your personality is the problem, right? Well, you don't actually know, but it, it's hard to see, you know, because it feels that way, of course. But the truth is, it's not your real personality that made her disappear. It was your insecure personality. It was the discovery that you were faking it. It was the realization that you lacked the confidence to just be real with her, to be cool with her. And women can feel in their bones when a man lacks confidence, when he doesn't believe that he deserves her. And he's going to sabotage shit anyway, and she knows it. But uh, the internet has some even worse advice for you because first in line is the porn. Now, a lot of men I've talked to actually aren't that into porn, and if that's you, Good news, brother. But for most guys, especially younger guys, it was their first, their favorite, and their most inescapable teacher when it comes to women. And even though they've heard many times, even though I say it over and over and over again, even though I say it now, even though logically they may know in their heart that real women don't work that way, they can't help feeling somewhere in their gut that women are screwing everyone else, doing crazy degrading shit with everyone else, and they seem to like everyone else and do whatever other men want, and he's the only loser that they don't like. Maybe there's something wrong with him. Maybe it's, I don't know, because of the size of his penis or something, but it makes him feel even more insecure. It robs him of even more confidence, sometimes before he even has a chance to naturally develop confidence in the first place. And these guys begin to resent women, maybe even hate women. And that's okay, because the internet has more for that guy, and he may get roped into, you know, the ever-growing number of women-hating online communities out there. Red pill, MGTOW, incels, manosphere bullshit. And why not? I mean, from his perspective, no matter what he does, women reject him. Clearly, they disrespect him. Obviously, women think he's unworthy of their attention. And why shouldn't he hate women? I mean, after all, isn't it easier? Isn't it less painful? Isn't it better to just blame the women? Women are evil, they're unfair, they only want the guy with money, they only want the Chad with abs. So even if she likes you today, she'll leave you for that better guy tomorrow because that's the way women are. And so all these guys who have been rejected, have been cheated on, have had their feelings hurt, they all get together and they make shit up that makes them feel like it's okay because it's not their fault. It's just the evil women. And these guys have swallowed this silly nonsense so fully, so absolutely like crazy religious zealots that I can guarantee that there will be dozens of comments below this video saying what a fool I am, what an idiot I am, and how women really are evil. And well, anyway, you can read those comments for yourself. The names they call me are actually kind of funny. But the sadness of their surrender, of their inability to take any responsibility for their own lives and their own results, that shit's not funny at all. So that leaves a difficult question. If you're a man who didn't win the genetic lottery and just pop out of the womb full of confidence, can you truly learn to be confident? Is it even possible? I mean, if Google has all the wrong answers, what can you really do? Well, the good news is, yes, you can build confidence. But what's counterintuitive about it is that while most people think the confidence comes from inside your thoughts, actually, confidence usually gets built through actions. Yes, you can develop confidence by working on beliefs through insights, affirmations, and mental practice, but that is really like trying to make eggs by using eggs. Turns out it's easier if you use a chicken. But as wise man has said through the ages, if you want a chicken, it's better to start with the egg. Turns out there are a lot of things that work 
synergistically in both directions that way. Like happy people tend to socialize more and people who socialize more tend to be happy. So if you want to be happy, work on being social. And if you want to be more social, start by being happier. And if you want to be more confident, there are specific actions that confident men already do. And that's the place, the best place that I know to begin. And I'll warn you in advance, the actions are simple, but it's the doing them that can be challenging and requires some commitment and practice. And that's because there are psychological obstacles that prevent men from already having taken these actions. So I created a free downloadable guide to overcoming the most common obstacles that prevent men from living a life of greater confidence, passion, and success with women in relationships. And you can download it from the link on the screen or in the video description below. I think you are going to find it both eye-opening and valuable and hope you'll check it out. I'll talk to you soon.